Today we're taking you to the prestigious Swan Terrace Restaurant, located at the Founders Inn in Virginia Beach, where executive chef Tony Lowe's will be creating some exciting recipes featuring Mott's Fresh Apples. Mott's, the trusted name for over 150 years to provide delicious, nutritious apple products, just got fresh with Mott's Fresh Apples. When you see the Mott's name, you just know that everything from orchard to aisle has been handled with extra care. Mott's travels the world to ensure that you get the very best quality apple year-round. With 12 Mott's Fresh Apple varieties to choose from, including Macintosh, Golden Delicious, Granny Smith, Pink Lady, and Fuji, it will be difficult choosing a favorite. Now let's check in with Chef Tony and see what he has cooking for us today. Hi, I'm Chef Tony Los, Executive Chef of the Founders Inn. Today we're going to be making a warm Mott's apple strudel with vanilla bean ice cream. To go over the ingredients, we have our melted butter, our walnuts, brown sugar. We're using our favorite Mott's apples, which we've diced up. And then we have phyllo dough. To start the process today, we're going to go over to the oven. And we're going to start our pan on medium to low heat, just so it's nice and warm. Then you want to take your favorite Mott's apples. You can use green or red. Depends entirely on the flavor you prefer. We're going to use the green ones. And then you're just going to peel them. Okay, so we peel those. And then all we're going to do is we're going to cut them away from the core. All right. And then we're going to take those pieces and we're going to dice them up. So that's what you're going to do with your apples. You're going to add them into your, your bowl here. And we're just going to rough chop the walnuts. A little bit too large to be putting into the middle of the strudel the way they are. So we just want to rough chop them. Not too much. You don't want to fine chop. All right. So when we've gotten to this stage, we're going to put those back into our bowl. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these ingredients over to the stove top. We're going to add a little bit of butter into our pan, about a tablespoon or so, and we add our apples. We're not caramelizing these. We're just softening them. We're going to add our brown sugar, about a tablespoon. Turn the heat up just a little bit. We're going to kind of cook these together. Now we're going to add some walnuts, saving some of the walnuts out for garnish on the plate presentation itself. There we go. Okay. Now while that's simmering, we're going to prepare our rolling station. Now I should tell you about the phyllo dough. It's a very temperamental product. So if you pull it out of your, your uh, packaging and lay it on the counter, it's important that you put a damp cloth on it just to keep it nice and workable. Otherwise, it will crumble away. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull two pieces at once, trying to keep it as one sheet as possible. And then we lay that down like so. Smooth. We're going to lightly brush it with the butter. Then we're going to go back and we're going to grab two more pieces of phyllo and we're going to lay those right on top of the buttered phyllo, like so. All right. And then we're going to butter this one time too. Now at this stage, we're going to grab our apple product and bring it on over to the table. This is exactly where you want it to be. A little bit of juice still in there. Okay, that's not going to be a problem. We're just going to kind of push the apples to the top of the pan and let the juices run to the bottom. Now we're going to roll our phyllo. Taking a couple spoonfuls of this, spread it out nicely. Another thing you can do at this point is sprinkle the inside of this pastry with a little bit of sugar. What we're going to do is just sprinkle it lightly with some cinnamon dust, and now we roll. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold in the ends first, like so, and then wrap up our package. Okay, we lightly butter this. If you'd like also, you can sprinkle the outsides, a little bit of walnut dusting. Then this goes in the oven at 350 degrees for about five to seven minutes. All right, our strudels come out of the oven. We're gonna remove it from the parchment paper. Discard that. It's nice and golden brown. Now we're gonna do our plate up. vanilla ice cream. Go ahead and hit that with a little sauce as well. A little whipped cream. And then a nice fresh sprig of mint just for some color. Okay. There you have the Mott's apple strudel with vanilla bean ice cream. I'm Chef Tony Lowe's, Executive Chef of Founders Inn. Thanks for joining us. Apples have long been known to keep the doctor away, and now, more than ever, scientists are proving this old saying to be true. Studies have shown that apples contain compounds and antioxidants that are linked to numerous health benefits. In addition, Mott's Fresh Apples contain important essential nutrients such as fiber, vitamin C, and potassium. Mott's takes extra steps to ensure every hand-selected Mott's Fresh Apple is the absolute best of the bunch and should be chosen over other apples for pure peace of mind. For more information, or for a variety of healthy and delicious recipes using Mott's Fresh Apples, please call 1-800-426-4891 or visit www.mottsfresh.com.